This is the newest LJ, a little bit different winding, a little more precision. Um, if any of you have tried to light CFLs off of a jewel ringer, you'll know it can be kind of a challenge to get it just right. I wanted to show you what this can do. So there's one CFL bulb. Let's see if we can go light a second. There's two. There's three. That is quite a challenge to get this many CFL bulbs to light off one of these LJLs. So I'm pretty proud of getting this done. Um, it's quiet. Transistor is, the transistor is definitely warm, but it's not bad. You could run these. Of course, LEDs are far better, but just to show you, this thing can put out some serious power. So we're going to look at amp draw with these uh, CFLs now as I put them in. And, you know, for a lot of you, you're thinking, what's the big deal? We're lighting CFL bulbs. Um, for those of you who have experimented with these um, super jewel ringers, um, oscillating circuits, um, CFLs uh, are, are sometimes tricky to light, especially um, more than one. There's something about the circuitry that um, tends to kind of disrupt the oscillation um, for the next one. So getting several to light in parallel is sometimes tricky. So we're going to look at the amp draw. All right, there is, uh, I've got my amp meter hooked up backwards, but anyway, it's 1.7. I'm going to put the second one in. So we're at, see, it's, it's trying to find a happy place. It's somewhere between 2.8 and 3.2. So it's trying to adjust to this load. It's having a hard time. So put in a third. Now, oh, we're solid. 4.3. It likes three running. And I notice with the fourth, it has a hard time adjusting to the load. But we're going to see if we can get it to go. Yep. Five amps. And it is ringing a little. You can hear that. Okay, I wanted to go through the um, the dim and uh, high setting, or the low and high setting that you can switch between. So this is the the dimmer setting, and on one bulb, we're pulling um, less than four watts. So that's a six watt bulb. Second bulb. Pulling less than six watts for those two. Um, there's about six watts for those three. Again, this is on the uh, the low setting, kind of the economy setting. If you really wanted to conserve your battery, they're still pretty bright. Okay, so we're we're a little over seven watts. Now we're gonna switch to the high setting. There's high. So we're pointing about double. So 1.3 amps for all four of those. They're quite bright. I'll go I'll I'll unplug them and we'll go through them again. Okay, one bulb on the high setting and we're overdriving it slightly. That's probably about seven watts. For that six watt bulb. Now we're getting into some, some good power usage. There's less than 0.8 amps for two bulbs. That's uh, about that's about twelve watts for the three bulbs. Quite bright. There's all four, so 1.3 amps. So if we toggle back to, and I'm just moving the switch, toggle back to the dim setting, we cut that power in half. So um, the switch is a little flaky. I mean, you kind of have to move it. Um, center's off, which is kind of nice. So no power. We're still hooked up to uh, 12 volt. You just kind of have to push it up slow into position. 
There we clicked in. That's high. Go through off to low. So that's um, that's probably what I'm going to make now. So you have the choice between a low and a high setting. Um, this is perfectly usable light. Um, you could read by this. You could work by this. Um, the high setting is quite bright. Uh, you'd light your rooms up real nice with that. So anyway, I'm pleased with this. Um, I don't think we can light CFLs on low. I'll try that. Let me unplug these. All right, I have just one CFL. We'll see if it'll light on low. Yeah, it does. Okay. So one CFL, we're pulling an amp. Um, I'm going to switch it to high. We're pulling 1.7. It's quite bright. So this is the new model. This is the one I'm currently uh, selling when you order these um, on the website at uh, linkswind.com. Anyway, thank you for watching.